everyone. Welcome to the LA Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Ranson. Here's your boy, Luke Mitchell. Hello. And today, we have a very, very, very special guest for you. Um, it's a family guest. We've never had a full family on before. Never. But this one I, we think is worth having on. It's Three Beat Slide. Wow. YouTube sensation. We just recently came upon them. And they blew our minds last podcast. So we decided that we're going to dedicate the majority of this podcast to appreciating that family and all the art that they've put out into the world. Yeah, I mean, it would be a disservice not to. I think we should hop right into it. Sure. I'll play my favorite one. This is the Well, let's let's see Live in It, which is what got us into it. No, 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 no. First, yeah, Second. first. No, no, first we do Live in It just to let everybody everybody has to be on our page. Right? So they they see why we found the, how we found this family and then how much better it gets. We have ignition. Figured out those aren't brothers. No, I was way off. <laughs> I was clearly the dad and his son. You can be your own oh, shining star. I live in it. I live in it. I live in it. We got a hot daughter living it. I'm living it. I live in it. Show we're on the camera. I live in it. I live in it. I live in it. Like you, living it. There she is. A golf cart built for four. <laughs> I little like I candy. <laughs> this is doesn't now. work. This is like <laughs> that one person's in trouble. <laughs> She's screaming. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> I didn't get my seat yet. <laughs> what, ride? what ride is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's what it's what. Hey, live, okay, I gotta, I gotta put these on because this family is way too bright. Yeah, this, their future is way too bright. <laughs> I don't usually get starstruck, but when I do, I put my shades on and Honestly, I admire it. You're the journalist. You're the journalist, and you gotta get them on. You gotta, you gotta find, I'll try to this, find this family. This. This is it. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't belong. Oh, you know who Stephanie said the dad looks like? Uh, a Knight of the Roxbury. Like, if you combine them, <laughs> like, he looks like. All right, a couple choppers. Yeah. Fireworks. I'm living it. Living I still it. maintain this is living it. Living it. Yeah. I'm living it. Hovercraft. Ah, you're living it. I'm living it. I'm living it. Like the year 2020. I'm living it. I'm living it. I'm living it. Ah, you're living it. All the systems are going Okay. Wow. Well, my head hurts after that. Because yeah, it was too so much good content. too much good content. Jesus. Um, yeah, so that's how we were introduced to the uh, the family last time. Because we've um, all been having a hard time in 2020, and it's good to see that some people are making the most of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and and in more ways than one. I mean, showboating their hot daughter, uh, playing mean, on slides, taking their tractor around their yard. I think clearly the son is the favorite in the family, though. Oh. And how many musical talent? How many solos does he get, and how many does she get? That's the way I look. Absolutely, at it. I think the son's a little more into it. I think the daughter's no, I think they're equally as into it. I think the daughter's no. expressing herself sexually. I disagree. And the son is uh, the musical phenom. I think they're both equally into it, but the dad sees the son as the star. Oh, and she wants so badly to have that attention and mm. to have that 
like spotlight. But really? I don't think I don't, and that's why I think she does some some of those crazy things she does in the videos, mm. like the winks. She's trying to get the fans on their side because her dad's clearly not. Right. That's just the way I look at it. And again, actually, another thing we've added something else to the studio. This is a fun little game. If you've been following along, the army that we've been doing, we've been adding something new every episode. So look around the look around the studio, look around the setup, look around. What is new? Put it in the comments. I also want to give a shout out. I want to also give a shout out to the army. Our audience retention doubled. People are t- sticking around. Wow. So you know what? Let's hey. not go over the YouTube analytics. No, on the I like podcast. to. They need to know. I, They're I think, part of the army. No, you know what? I we think, also gain an army member. There's a realtor. Yeah. And John loves the show. Loves wow. Survivor. Shout loves, out John. Loves this weird family. Shout out John. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say his last name. So let's get into. So this is my this is Luke's my favorite. favorite. I haven't seen any. I've seen one other of uh, uh, video. So they have about. But I've, I've held myself off because I want to experience this with our fans. I think they have about as the 15, 15 videos. I downloaded my favorites. Yeah, some of them are. Yeah. Too much. We'll um, we'll put their YouTube channel on the bottom a little bit later on, so that you can see the rest. So if you want, it's a tie. This this one jumped out at me because you know what I felt like. Is this the one that's all about love? Um, no, this is all about America. Okay. I like the love one that I saw. The, the, sec- love one the is, other one. The love one is my second favorite. Okay. Like, it's close. Next time you think you can't find work, know that you're in a powerful nation of opportunity. America. A place where everyone is equal under the law. And opportunity is equal for all. America is a place to be. Because you are truly free. To be anything you dream. In a land of the free, stop the aggravation, no more hesitation. Did it meet you, Hardy? It can be a sensation. America is the place to be, because you are truly free. Be anything you dream. In a land of the free, stop the aggravation, no more hesitation. With time and education, you can be a sensation. And be number one in the nation. And be number one in the nation And be number one in the nation You can be number one in this nation It doesn't matter who you are, how fresh you are you The beat in the back, okay? <laughs> Equal chances Black, Hispanic, African, Asian You can succeed Dude, just listing off the races America is a place to be Cause you are a true free To be anything you dream In a land of the free Stop the aggravation No more hesitation With time and education You can be a sensation America is a place to be Cause you are a true free To be anything you dream in the land of the free, stop the aggravation. No this is inspiring during this pandemic. Absolutely. It makes you realize you what's truly capable. And be number one in the nation. And be number one in the nation. And be number one I want to know what their definition the of being number one in the nation is. The highest song. Like oh, the nation. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you're from when you were born. How you were born. Put your hands in the sky if you believe it. Look to your left. Look to your right. Germany, can you feel the beat in your system? If so, raise your hands. Oh. Fucking Jesus. America, Holy. you fucking pussies! If you aren't eating ass, that's the thing about America. That's the thing about America. Sometimes you forget about them, and then you get something like this that punches you square in the right face the and reminds nuts. you who number one is. It, absolutely, USA if number there were one. Any debate? Go Holy watch shit. Go watch Michael Jordan play basketball, and then watch these fuckers sing a banger. In the nation, you can be a sensation. Everyone's <laughs> dancing. If you are Chinese, you still have a chance. I like how he. I like. Everybody's like Hispanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like white the, people the whitest family 
Hispanics, black. <laughs> 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 it's like I like to imagine there's a massive crowd in front of them and yeah. they're all separated. Yeah. Like this is you over there. You're right there. Yeah. You guys too. And also you. Oh man. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Oh man. I love everything patriotic. I like everything about th- this family. These guys are our best de- guests to get to date. And sorry for any other guests that we've had. These three take the cake. I mean, if you want to <laughs> compete with them, make your own songs. If anybody knows this family, reach out. Tell them that there's a huge podcast with a large audience. Who love you. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to find the one we both love. The um... Oh, yeah. Okay, this one's called Greatest Treasure. Okay, so this one, I this is the other one that I've seen before, and it's about true love. And... And this one takes a little bit more, the son and daughter take a little more of a backseat and it's more about um, the dad and his uh, his. Well, the son and daughter almost seem seem proud of the dad. Yeah. That he's able to find true love. But I think, yeah. And I I think think everyone needs a video like this right now, especially when everyone's trapped in their homes. We're all dreaming of being on the island. Divorce rates are going up. Domestic abuse abuse is going up. So next time you think about maybe hitting your husband or wife or divorcing your husband and wife. Yeah. Remember that they're your greatest treasure. Don't do it. You make life a perfect adventure. A summer day when the air is sweet. So many dreams, past and present. Walking together down a small town street. These are the days we will remember. Beautiful shot. Mountains of the blue which touch the sky. A cool street to think and lanes I gaze upon the beauty in your eyes Ooh, you are my greatest treasure Never gonna let you go, go, go Just Ooh, you me. fill me with the sweetest pleasure Never gonna let you go, go, go They should play this at the cyber zone Ooh, you are my one and only Never gonna let you go, go, go Ooh, I love that sweet ass honey your smile is a kiss of sunshine through the cool grass beneath your feet flowers in the field and life is singing you make every single day complete these are the days we will remember Misty blue mountains touch the sky Let me take you in my arms once more And gaze upon the beauty <laughs> in your eyes Ooh, you are my greatest treasure Never gonna let you go, go, go Ooh, you fill me with the sweetest pleasure Never gonna let you go, go, go They yeah. get great B-roll, and they are unbelievable at writing a hook. Oh, like tier. the choruses of these songs, every single one is wow. a fucking. That's the smack. first three. That's the first three. Yeah, but so far that I've seen, I, I, I actually like the chorus <laughs> yeah, a lot. Well, the thing that kind of detours me is like how they sing like they look like they murder people as a team. Well, no, and they I, all sleep in the same bed, see, like Tom DeFalco said. I think that's the diff- That's the difference between a Ooh. tight band and and a band that doesn't really end up making it because there were rumors that the Beatles all shared a bed as well. I and look I, at what the Beatles did. I just want to uh, say a big thank you to uh, Brittany Ralph. Also, the Red Hot Chili Peppers apparently also have all shared a bed before. And look at that. I mean, me and Sean Graham shared a bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're e- not in a band equal together. Level, equal level of uh, relationships. Yeah. Um, 
I just want to do a big shout out here to Brittany Ralph. She was uh, taken aback by how great that uh, last episode was in the video we played, uh, which was Living It. Living it. And she messaged my sister saying, hey, make sure Luke knows there's another song. And then I did a deep dive and found out. There's a whole bunch of other songs. There's a ton. Thank you, Brittany Ralph. Um, big, big supporter of the podcast. She said it's fun. So well, that's good to hear considering she's a professional in this business. Yeah, in the, uh, in the podcast business? No, the radio. It's the multimedia business? She works at The Edge, man. What's All The right. Edge? 102.1. Where? In, in, in LA? Chi Town? <laughs> yeah, in LA. In LA or? In so here we go. Toronto? This one, this is where it kind of falls off the We coast. have a big contingency of fans in Toronto, actually. It's weird. Yeah. I don't like it. I want some I kind of do I like it. I want more LA. I do like it, though. Shout out to our Canadian army. There's, we got a bunch of different regiments. We got a Canadian regiment. We got an LA regiment. We have a Sacramento leave a regiment. Comment, leave a comment in the YouTube video saying which regiment you're in. Mm-hmm. And we'll give you a ranking in, in that comment. We'll say... Depending on your activity. Yep. We'll give you a rank. All right. Uh, let's see another one. What's your... Right. What's this the one next, falls off the cliff. This is like the beach boogie. Okay. You ready, well, guys? Not, not, every, not every song on an album can be a smash. Not, no. No. Not even but close. as long as the art is there, then subjectively, it's beautiful. Woo! Oh, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to this do. This one is the dance craze hit. Oh, they're yeah. trying to start a dance craze. And they abducted the two yeah. chicks in the back. See? He's like, follow along. Are you ready? Let's go. You gotta film the video of us doing this. Doesn't matter where you are, you can even do it in your car. East Coast, West Coast, Mid States too. They know how to really shake it too. So you say you want some more? Well, do it in the grocery store. East Coast, like, what do we sign up for? Station. Now watch it spread across the nation. Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotta keep moving, oh yeah. Do the beach boogie, yeah. See if yeah. the beaches weren't the all beach shut boogie, right now, I can yeah, see people doing the beach boogie, boogie as soon as this song gets big. Oh man, that's the thing. And once the army they know tackle, how to sell, once the army tackles this, well, they know how to sell music, right? Like they have three classic hits. They're big on the cultures. He said Europe, Asia, and Africa, because this is worldwide. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you, which one of these people would you most want to have sex with on the screen right now? I don't think that's appropriate. Mine's the dad. Okay. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. Gotta keep moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like this part of the dance. Rubbing your thighs? I say, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this family, man. The booty shot. Dude, this family just Do the beach abducted boogie. these yeah, people. Yeah. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta keep moving, oh yeah. Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. 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 Getting, Do the beach boogie, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Gotta keep moving. Don't worry, there's only two in left. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are. You can even do it in your car. You want to keep going or move on to the next? Here we go. Really shake it too. So you say you want some more? Well, do it in the grocery store. Oh, that's a threat. <laughs> that was a sexual innuendo, I think. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie. Like the mom yeah, made yeah. a cameo. Do the beach boogie. Is that the mom? They let her in. That was the that was the greatest yeah. treasure. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. Gotta keep moving. It doesn't matter where you this are. This is a, the most you garage band song I've ever heard. Do you think they got permission to, from those two girls to do the booty shot or no? No. They <laughs> sucked <laughs> at it. Brother filming that shit. It's all dancing night away. More than just one nation. An international sensation. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, oh my god. Do the beach they, got, they got more people in on it. Do the beach boogie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep Imagine if you got the beach. Yeah. And, this, and this guy comes yeah, up to you and is like, I, the beach we need you to help yeah, us do yeah. the beach. Boogie. I'd be, I'd be definitely in the video. For if sure, you asked me. hundred percent, no question. He's like, can you come do the beach boogie with me? Yeah, let me just leave my family behind, and I'm for sure doing it. 
I would. This chick on the left is <laughs> yeah. way into it. She's throwing it back. She doesn't know how the beach boogie. Look at uh, this guy. Yeah, he's like not even doing the beach boogie. This guy likes the the Hispanic one a little more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Holy crap! Gotta keep grooving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This makes me want to kill myself. Yeah, I know. I know what they were going for. I just don't know if they hit this one. The other three hit. Three and a four ain't bad. Yeah, it's the cheap. Three and a four ain't bad. It's the. It's the cheap. It's the cheap instrumental. It's like. See, they were trying. They were trying to make a smash dance hit. So all you really need is that chorus. Well, here we go. And they need all they need is the part that's do the beach boogie. Let, yeah, yeah. Let's bring it back to what we need most in this world, and that's love. Is this the greatest treasure again? This is the island. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. See, this is what I can get into. Ooh. Yeah, a little more. It's got a little yeah. Hawaiian. They do it in Spanish too, if you're wondering. Ooh. Oh, is this in Spanish? There is a version. Ooh. Ah. Ah. They're a very talented Ooh. family. I look across the sea, her eyes stare back at me. They never leave me anymore. Ooh. I look across the sea, she fills my every need. I am lost in no one's more. Ooh. <laughs> I'm the wind she whispers to me. Feel the pressure of the island. Ooh. 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 The island. Dad, do you think we can just go on vacation and not make a video? Absolutely not. I think they all want to make them. I see the sun so true, beaming through her gown of blue. Her motions never This is his mom he's talking anymore. about. Anymore. Oh, that's a different, that's a random girl. A vision made just for me. For sure. Holds me in a fantasy, a dream fulfilled forevermore. Ooh. I feel her beauty all around me. Lose herself in the island. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. This is a banger. Twins. This is one of those songs. This is one of those songs that you like. You've had a long day. And you just want to relax. You throw this on. We're getting the bridge right now. Stars light up a dress at night Visions through the beams of light Reveal my feelings of her once more Ooh, the pastel colors It's like a mixture of like Kip from Napoleon Dynamite and like a Will Ferrell character <laughs> I can see Will Forte playing this guy so well Feel the pleasure of the island Nothing scarier than an adult who sits cross-legged. What were you gonna say though before? I forget. I lost oh. myself. I lost myself in the island. They caught a rainbow. What do you think this song means? What's the meaning of this? Song? I have a theory. I forget the lyrics already. I can't. Just, let me hear your theory. Okay. No, no. I want to hear yours. Just I don't see have if a theory I'm, at all. You don't think it's a? It's about what do you? What do you think the theme of the song is? What did you feel when you heard? Can you it? sing me the chorus again? <sighs> the island. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. I don't know what they're saying. It's something, okay. So something in my in opinion, the they're island. relating. I know what, they're relating her to the island. I don't know. I, no, that's good. Keep going. That's it. No, no, don't like. Don't. You're bullshit. holding yourself back. No, I'm not. Because your I feelings, literally have no you're fucking. You're comparing idea. her to the island. Okay, this is what I believe. Good. I think they've been they've gone on a vacation, and they're talking about the island as if like you're you're right. He, they're comparing her and the island. Yeah. 
because she might be very um she might be very alluring right now but you're on the island you're in vacation mode right right and you know it has to end so you're gonna have to leave this island eventually you got a home and a and a music career back in america right and you can't stay here all th- this whole time no but at the same time there's something about the island ooh Ooh, 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 the island, ooh, ooh, see, and so it really brings it back to like, yeah, it's this foreign beauty, but it's a long-term relationship. It's not going to work. We're going to have to end this just like our vacation is eventually going to have to end and we're going to have to come back to reality. But as of right now, let's live in the moment and let's enjoy the island. (laughs) That's my view of it. That's I, what I think the song hey, means. Hey, I think you're onto something. You think? There. And I think once we once we find the family, we'll do a breakdown of each. I want to ask them if I if I'm spot on. And here's with what the it thing. Means. Here's the thing. I'm not even at the point right now where I, well, like I, I, where we're making fun of them. What I do you actually, mean? Well, no, we're not making. I've fun never. Of them. That's what I want people to not get mixed up. No, let's just not even say that. Right. Like we're not. No. Like we're we, there are guests on the show. Exactly. Like we're listening. Like it's to it's to be understood. We're not making fun of anyone. Okay, but what I'm saying is I want people to truly appreciate these hooks and choruses. This takes time to make. They're it's great. not easy to go out with your family and make 15 music videos and build a fan base. So let's just take it in. Well, they obviously have some money. They go on all these vacations, right? Like, they're successful people. Yeah. Like, look at all the... They're at the island. They're at the music park. It's a beautiful day. Let's go outside and play. Got this the water the balloon. <laughs> Got the lays? Yeah. Got the bubbles? Yeah. That's what you mean. No, we're okay. 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 Let's, Let's go, go outside and play. play. Walk, walk, walk. Skip, skip, skip. skip. Tickle. Tickle, yeah. Walk, walk, walk. Skip, skip, skip. skip. Tickle, Tickle, yeah. Pause this for a second. With my gal. So my I, question is, do you think this is their? Uh, do, these are their actual friends? Do you think these are... I'm not too sure, I, but... <laughs> I can, I, I'm trying to I understand have, I have this. No idea. I'm trying man. to understand this from an artistic side, and this one seems like kind of like it's like their attempt at like the kids market. Yeah, you know, like they're like this would be good for we've a kids ta- show. We've tackled and dominated. Walk, 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 walk. Exactly. Tickle. Yeah, like that just seems like it would be a good hook for a kid to get into. Exactly. You know, like a young child. Like let it go, let, let it, it go. go. Yeah, tickle. <laughs> hey, like the like, dad's like, know. guys, let you, you guys write a song. Mm, we, I don't. I've think dominated he was my market. This. We need to capitalize your generation's market. I don't think he Let's was involved. Let's hire in some this fake one. friends. This one, I don't think. I don't know if they're fake. Let's not put that into into words. They, well, they but, have to hire actresses and actors. I mean, that's a. How many friends do you have that would be in a music video? Not many. Uh, you. For Maybe. One. Um. Roommate Mike the roommate would definitely be in a music video. Absolutely. I think Jackson, the commander in chief of the army, would hop in there. And I think now listen up, I'm with my pals. This song ain't no joke. Cause we're all so stoked. Being with my friends is just the prize. On a day with no flies. We like to have fun outside when the sun's nice and high. So get your cheeks off the seat and let your body take the beat. Walk, 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 skip, 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 tickle, yeah. Walk, 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 skip, 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 tickle, yeah. Okay, You're John, and that's my name. Six. And I'm the boss of the song. I like to talk on my phone, but well, today it's boss. just been gone. Playing jump rope is my thing. This is and the boss yes, here. I really yeah, can sing. Spinning this thing is just my blink, and having a ball is a hell of a thing. Oh, now it can't be for kids. Walk, walk, walk. Why is skip, that? Skip, 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 tickle, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, this one. Pause this one for a second. We, we got to watch the next one. Pause this. What? Hey, start this one over for a second. We got to just talk about, we got to go over each song because that one was, I just saw a guy, that last one was a clear miss. I just saw a guy playing saxophone. Was that the dad? That's the dad. <laughs> yeah, that's the dad ripping the, the sax. Incognito. Let me just get, let me just see this. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's a tenor. This is like their fun and games day. Oh, 
I feel like the t- the dad's like a music instructor or something. Yeah. What anyway, the fuck? Uh, what, anyways, let's, where did uh, he get that tenor from? What let's is, talk it, about. It wasn't even a tenor. Let's anymore. just talk about that one because we've had we've seen a lot of good songs today, but that wasn't one of them. <laughs> that one is not a hit. I'm sorry, three beat slide. You can't nail all of them. Even ACDC had a couple of bad hits. I, even bad Queen. hits. That you can't put hit after that. Okay. Well, e- like bad. A bad Attempts, song. Bad song. Fillers on the album. Yeah. We've They're had a couple fillers. bad episodes. That's okay. Yeah. We're learning. Our first one, hunk of shit. Yeah. I hunk mean, of shit. Yeah, that NBA uh that NBA segment needed to be restructured. Or that NFL structure segment needed to be restructured, and we eventually dropped it completely. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we're honest, and what we're gonna be continuing to do is preach honesty on this podcast. And that one, walk, 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 tickle, yeah, didn't land with me. Not even, it would, no, it wasn't even um, yeah. didn't in the land. ballpark. No. I mean, with the four hits that we've approved earlier, mm-hmm. that's like, that's the worst one we've seen so far. It's hard to, it's honestly hard to watch. Yeah. And that it's one was, not just the, it's not just mm-hmm. the music, it's the music video. The two no misses, story. but the two misses, like, you know what they were going for too. Like that was obviously trying to, they're trying to do a kid song. Which is okay. Kind of like the Wiggles yeah. or like, uh, like Barney would have a song. Like they're trying to get kids involved in their music. And but, you know what? That's not your demographic three beat slides. Stay away from it. Also, if you're going to try you're, and rap, you write love ballads, the fucking beats. Three beat, yeah. You're three beat. You write. You hit the beat. You write love ballads and you write adventure, like action adventure sagas. Yeah, like just like living it. We're living it. We're living it. And then you write about love. I think Stay we got. I think we got to hit the American one one more time because Ameri- that might be the best. That's beat. a saga. That is. Yeah. That's a Vici. That's a that's a ballad about about the love of America. We need to bring an actual we, musician. We have one more on. though. We have a couple more. We I need thought to, we were at six. A a. Relax. Oh, we got eight. <laughs> we got to right. bring an we actual pair of musicians on. I think we know some. And we got to say, which one's the best? We pick our top and we say, which one musically is the best? I have a clear top four right now. Okay. Well, let, let's see. Because. Let's go on a journey and explore this world. Let's ride on a toaster and let's have a good time. My world has just begun For you and I, just like I for you You came into my life It wasn't until next morning When I saw you through my door That your beauty struck me like dynamite And was aimed straight to my heart You hit me faster than the speed of light That I couldn't sleep that night I needed someone by my side And now I know you're mine Let's go on a journey You got a real falsetto voice, eh? Yeah, very high pitch it's nice, but he's got a definite There's, lane. The melody of this, though, it's catchy as fuck. See, this is this is a good one. <laughs> this is back to the adventure yeah. thing you were talking about. This one is more of a, a whimsical, fun yeah. time in the sun. Like, it's not serious. We're getting our vitamin D. We're hanging it's out. It's not serious. It's not like living it or like no. the American saga. What was the American one called? Let me see. Wait, actually, wait. We don't get a lot of solos from her. Love is like the magic that unites everyone together. And it brings our journey forever closer. Everything you'll ever need. You are the one to make me feel so bright. And I want you in my life. You bomb like the fireworks in the light. And you're the person of my dreams. Let's go on a journey and explore this world. I like to imagine there's like families on the edge of the park like that just want to use it. <laughs> Here, can we just shoot something quick on the swings? Yeah, how long are you guys going to be? <laughs> oh, about three more hours. Yeah. I think the girl is dominating the vocals here. This one, yeah. 
The way you act oh. on my life, I see my heart in you. They all get a your a, eyes a, shine a bright upon here. me for right. you, and I never want to let you go. So let's ride this road together to see where this journey flows, and let's have fun like never before. I was like waiting for you all the time. <laughs> he did the Jordan shrug. You so yeah. right, <laughs> you explode like shooting stars. Your emotions really turn me up at night. We'll travel side by side. Let's go on a journey. Oh. And I gotta be honest, my beef is with this song. Sex? That's sexual. My beef with this song is that the music video does not suit the song. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have anything to do. He's shooting a ball. With the park. And it's, this is about, it's more about ending love. Yeah, it's more about like figuring yourself out. Yeah. You're going on a journey. You're trying to test the love that you already have. And I've never done any of that at a at a on a park. No, not at a children's park. No. <laughs> That's Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> My God, I think I just scored it. <laughs> wow. That's a good one, though. I'll give it to them. Yeah. Can we actually listen to the America one again? Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's get one. through these. It's, it's, we got uh, one more. So that America, one's called Journey. That one's called America is the place to be, the one you like. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like it, too. Okay, so we got one left. It's called Chore Day. So this one is... This one is obviously going to be... Oh gosh, it's Chore Day, day. and I don't want to do a thing today. This is so awful. Mm -hmm. Doing the laundry and singing all night. Another spin cycle, twist it to the right. The clothes are tumbling round and round. We can watch it together. Let's sing it now. Let's do the laundry. Let's keep things clean. Hey, is it a banger though? Fit all of our clothes into this neat machine. Let's do the laundry. Oh, you gotta get some big The laundry. Come on, everybody, do the laundry dance. Oh, it's chore day, and I don't want to do the chore day. No, I don't see them. No, 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 I said no, no, no. I just Wrong. wanna go to bed. That? I'd rather sleep Is this guy getting bed. pussy? Laundry's he done. That was. Time to There's go. So many. Room's a mess. Gotta clean it now. Tidy up. Make the bed. Fold the clothes. Dust the shelves. Pick up all. The toys again, put them in. The Are we, you want to keep going on this one? We watched all of them through. Carpet's full of dust and dirt. We'll vacuum it all and make it clean. Spark. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I learned a little bit about making music. Yeah. And a lot of the piano things they're doing are very Avicii like. Bop, bop, da da. It's like. Go away. Chores, 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 just run away. One thing Avicii will do is like... Did you just see what he was doing there? No. Go back to what he was dusting. I can't believe like how Avicii like that piano is. Gotta clean the dishes before I take a rest. Grab a sponge, time to scrub away. Gotta wash the plates, even though it's late. Until they're free of all their spots, leave them squeaky clean for another day. Let's wash the plates, let's keep things clean. Put all of the dishes in the drainer rack. Chores, 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 go away. Chores, 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 just run away. Came back around. No, I don't see him. I just want to go to bed. I'd rather sleep instead. Chore day. Oh, yeah. It's chore day. Oh, yeah. He just added another chore. He's got to clean all that up. I just want to go to bed. I'd rather sleep instead. Like, you can hear that, that piano. Is this Avicii now? Yeah, but like you hear that. They're very you hear similar. Well, there's a will, 
Like, but, like, the, you can just... Are we gonna get taken down for this? All those are copyrighted. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I can't believe Wait, here, listen, Friday. listen. I'm burning like a fire gun wild on Saturday. Guess I won't be coming to church on Sunday. I'll be waiting for love. Anyway, uh, like, and then go to the... Oh gosh, it's chore day, and I don't want to do a thing today. This is so aw- It's- it's very similar styles. Yeah, they're both equally talented. Waiting for love to come around. <laughs> Here we are comparing the three-beat slide to Avicii. An artist that can't- Compete, because he's- unfortunately, rest in peace. Yeah, R.I.P. He passed away. Yeah, he can't answer for himself at this point. I think he would, um, he would be, dig let's go back to, let's go back to America. Yeah. Um, this is just something that I, we have to replay because we have to remember in this time. And I think this is how we end this segment. We want to thank the three beat slide very much yeah, for joining us, hearts, for joining us. Hopefully we can get a Skype call with them. I want to hear from the dad. I want to hear from work the brother. That. I want to hear from the sister. I want to hear from the mom. What's it like being on the outside of their little group? Like it's not four beat slide. It's three beat slide. So you're the fourth part of that family. Do you feel excluded? Do you understand? Do you have a role behind the scenes in the band? Is she the editor? There's a lot of things that we want to know. Maybe she's the one who knows how to use Pro, Pro Tools. She has been the star of a couple of um, music videos. Yeah. She was in Greatest Treasure, and we're not sure if that was her on the island. I don't think it was. That, that's the weirdest that was part another, to me. Is like the that dad was, was getting woman. very close to many women. Many women, especially in the one where they put boogieing on the beach yeah he's like button butts and like getting shots of yeah, they were chicks hip, butts they were hip banging so i don't know papa you better watch out you gotta lose that woman you don't want to lose your girl all right here we go you know, the greatest treasure next time you think you can't find work you know that you're in a powerful nation of opportunity america a place where everyone is equal under the I law i like how he breaks it down the at the beginning for us is equal for all America is a place to be Cause you are truly free To be anything you dream In a land of the free Stop the aggravation No more hesitation With time and education You can be a sensation America is a place to be Cause you are truly free To be anything you dream In a land of the free Stop the aggravation No more hesitation With time and education you can be a sensation And be number one in the nation And be number one in the nation And be number one in the nation You can be number one in this nation It doesn't matter who you are, how fresh you are Equal opportunity, equal chances Black, Hispanic, African, Asian Wait, 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 he said black, <laughs> African, <laughs> yeah, black, African, Hispanic, <laughs> I feel, yeah, I guess there are white people in Africa, South Africa, good observation by him, the dad's got it on lockdown, I'm not sure, he's actually rocking the his dance moves are way off, more odd than the shots right now. You can be a sensation and be number one in the nation. If I could say one thing to them, it's memorize the beats and the cadences before you make the video, because sometimes they're off, and that could take them to new levels. You're the editor. You noticed that stuff. I know. I'll, I'll point it out when it happens. <laughs> I know. You can do it. He's a little Anna, delayed. Anna, <laughs> I don't. I can't. I don't see understand it. One, <laughs> why. I like the DJ. Be the DJ. America, you fucks. America.
Just remember, you're number one. It's, that's the place to be. Fuck yeah. In this time of struggle. Holy shit. <sighs> you think Pastor Copeland would agree with them? I think Pastor Copeland. They might be part. They might be part of his uh, his parish. I execute judgment on you, COVID nineteen. I execute judgment on you, Satan. You destroyer. You killer. You get out. You break your power. You get off this nation. Man, that was uh, that was wild. Anyways, um, wow. Fuck. My head it hurts. <laughs> yeah, we we actually. I need. It. I need. Yeah, that I need was unbelievable. To, I need to take a fucking Adderall because. Can we head... do something else? I found we, I, we pa- in the past we watched an episode of Jerry Springer on this on this show. Okay. And there's another episode of something hosted by Jerry Springer that nobody's ever seen before. How long is it? Actually, people have seen it. It's 21 minutes. We okay. won't. We don't have to do it now. Let's do it. I want to know if the army comment underneath has anybody ever heard of the Jerry Springer game show? It's like a dating love show called Baggage. Hmm. I've never heard of it. Never. Okay. So there's an episode of it. It's the only episode I've been able to find online. It used to play on the Game Show Network. Is it good? Unbelievable how good this show is. Like, it's literally my, like, I, if I was searching so hard for this show because it's like, it's addicting. Okay, let's, is there a trailer for it? No. It's, so the game show, I'll explain the game show. So it's called Baggage, right? And so the ho, the, the host, Jerry Springer, brings on the person looking for love, the, the man or woman. And so let's say it's a man, right? And so the man comes out and he's carrying his big red bag. And in the big red bag, you open it up and that's his like biggest baggage. And at the beginning of the episode, Jerry says something like, uh, you have to try to guess what's in his bag. And he gives you three options. Just like, so we, at the end of the episode, once he's found his love match, we get to see what's in Jerry's big red bag or Tim's big red bag. Yeah. Is it, he lost $70,000 in sports betting. (laughs) Is it, he still sleeps in the same bed with his mom. Or is he a hermaphrodite? Like just like right. crazy stuff like yeah. in their bags. And then what happens is they bring out three contestants and they have three bags. So they have a small, medium and large bag and they slowly get worse as like they open them up. Okay. And it's like the first, so the first baggage will be like, Like, I always use coupons on dates. Like, just something like that's like, okay, this guy's cheap or like this girl's cheap, you know? Yep. So, it's a crazy good show. We can, we can, we can strap in and watch it. We Um, don't have to do it right now. No, I mean, we just, we watch a ton of content. That's what I mean. So, let's get some, let's get, let's get talking into some of the stuff that we've missed over the last week. You did a jog? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit into jogging. And Uh I mean, I knew. I knew jogging outside was harder than jogging on a treadmill or an elliptical. Yeah. But until you actually start doing it, then you realize that it it, it really is a, a struggle. Yeah. Because on an elliptical, you do know in the back of your mind, you're like, I could just shut this machine off at any point. Running, you're like, I'm three kilometers from my house. Yeah. It's a <laughs> like, different ball game. You're like, fuck. Yeah. I have to go. And you have and like that, these muscle yeah. pains that oh. you don't feel normally. And you're like... I, your brain's like, just just walk home. Yeah. <laughs> your brain the whole time's like, just fucking kick yeah, off like, your shoes. Throw light podcast. up a cigarette. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny oh, how man. your brain it, it's, it's your own worst it's enemy. It's so weird how your brain is programmed to make your life easy in the sense where it's like, don't work out, just fucking chill and have a cheeseburger. Oh, you know? But you got a little the, Aussie there. At the end of the day, working out's good for you, but your body's like, fuck that. But just after get you work titties. out, after you work out is like one of those one of the best feelings. Yeah. Cause you just you just feel like you've accomplished something. You feel like you're not a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. I felt like a piece of shit for a long time, and you know what? Over this quarantine, I've learned. I just missed exercising. Yeah, I did. My body's been craving it, and I didn't know. Yeah, you know, and that I went for a three kilometer run lo- yesterday, and that was really fucking. Well, hard. you and I are still in a weight loss battle, and I haven't lost a pound, and I've been jogging. I have. What are you at? Don't I, just whisper. I started, I started at 219 and now I'm at 212. <laughs> I think I started, what did I start at? Seven peas. What did I start at? Once I get to 199. 
My, I, think, I know my goal is like 170, and I'm yeah. at like one. I woke up 189. My goal is one. My goal is 185. I think I'd look good. You're 5'11", six. Yeah, I say six, but I don't know. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like 5'11 and three quarters. Oh, oh I, but I round up. Right. You have to. Yeah. And basketball players all they all fucking round up. You know. Except for Yao Ming. They, the conspiracy is down. that they round he they round down because he's too big. Yeah. Get up that picture of Shaq and Yao Ming. How also how, how fucking crazy how good is, is the uh, how, Jordan doc? Unbelievable. Let's like, do you want to talk? Do you want to start talking about it now, or do you want to talk about it when all ten are done? Yeah. Right now, like, there's so much that's still going on that so many things that we still need to that we still need to watch. There's four more episodes, four more hours. Yeah. Speaking of a lot of content left, Survivor. I think I think let me just There's bring this five hours of Survivor coming up in the next two weeks, eh? No way. This week's uh This week's two hours and then the next the finale's three hours. All right, everyone. Look at this photo. Yeah. So Shaq is apparently seven one and Yao Ming's apparently seven six. That looks like a full foot to me. At least. <laughs> yeah, like and his body's just way bigger. You can't even blame this on angles, in my opinion. Like, like he's fucking massive. Look at this. He dwarfs him. He he is literally eight inches ho- taller than him. And man. look at how much bigger his head is. So how tall do they say Shaq is? I seven think they one? say seven one. Let me just check. Dude, Yao Ming has got to be seven seven. He's got to be eight. Eight. <laughs> Dude, let's Google. He's how- dwarfing him. No, they say he's seven six, but that's why I'm saying they like. Oh, they do say they he's round six. down for him. That's what I think. I don't think they could handle. I don't think they could handle an eight footer. Yao Ming height in feet. Always type it in feet. We're in Canada. They give you this bullshit metric. Yeah, see, okay, but that's not too much of a reach. See, is Yao Ming eight feet tall? People are like, probably. <laughs> it's like not what it says. They don't even. They don't even <laughs> just fuck it. They just tell you he's nominated for the All Star Games. Da, 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 da. It's like. Even if you don't like basketball, it's very possible you've heard um, of a man named Yao Ming. Uh, no, everyone just says he's 7'6". <laughs> I mean, 7'6", whatever. It's still fucking crazy. I typed in his Ye- Yao Ming conspiracy, and it's just like, was Yao Ming professionally bred by the Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a Yao, conspiracy. Was Yao Ming genetically engineered? Well, they got like they did get like the two polis- tallest people in China that have a baby, didn't they? I don't know. I, heard I don't know that. the story. I don't know if he was genetically engineered, but I heard he was created by the two tallest people. So who knows? Who knows what's real and what's not? Uh, I don't, but I, I do know that Yao Ming looks way bigger than Shaq in that picture, and I want the answers. Right. Well, because that's that's too big. I want to let everyone know something. This is a huge turn. Okay, here's Luke's. I sent Luke's I sent turn. Mike Milden, uh, also part of the Army, a video this morning, yep. and it was uh, this is a quick thing about markets. Okay. Sure. Are we gonna he do can- stock talk? It, it's not stock talk. Stock talk. Hit, hit it. Hit it. Oh. Right. Oh. Stock talk, you fucking pussies. You want to make money? Make your money, make money. I'm tired of your money sitting around doing nothing. Fucking lazy ass money. You get that shit in the market. Free. Stack it on top of each other. Gold. Coins. Dancing on your fucking... Tits, yeah, money, love it. Let me hear the chorus. Let's get litty. Ladies and gentlemen, really good. So I watched a video today. This guy on the financial education, he broke down what Warren Buffett was saying. He did a five-hour press conference recently, usually the sell out of stadium. And he did something that even for him is fucking crazy. He hasn't bought stocks in two months and he sold all of his airline stock. And he doesn't, he doesn't sell anything ever. So he thinks it's going to be he thinks bad. It, yeah. I mean, you're sitting at 20% unemployment. And you know even he has shit, insider information. He, he, you just know shit, it. Oh, even if shit opens back up, it takes time, right? So the most recent earnings weren't too bad. But it's about these earnings and the next ones. So you, you just, just got to be very... We also have a housing bubble in, in Canada that no one for some reason wants to acknowledge. 
Um, well, Kathleen Wynn did acknowledge it with the foreign interest tax. Well, dude, you want to know what keeps that bubble expanding is when people immigrate to Canada. Sorry, and foreign investment tax, not foreign. There's no tax. immigration happening, so that's. And then I went recently. I kept. I sold some Tesla, but I decided to go half cash. So I, I'm not gonna say how much is in my trading account. Because that's that's a little braggadocious. Well, it's just not the right thing to do. But yeah. Yeah. go and half that. cash, pussies. And those are your financials. That was stock talk. Well, just market talk. Just a little warning, you know. What do I know? What do you uh, know? But what does Warren Buffett know? That's the question. That's the thing, right? It's like I'm not he just knows pulling something. He's doing something with. His I'm brain. not just making shit up like most people who act like they know stuff. I'm actually listening to the top dogs. <laughs> you actually do know stuff. I'm listening to the top dogs. I'm listening to people in my family who've yeah. been investing. You may not know years. stuff, but the people you're listening to do know. They stuff. know a little bit. So. Well, what better way to learn than from the best? So we just pass along the information via Luke, our our financial reporter, and also you get, you if get someone the ever benefits, tells you, you the benefits. If, if someone ever gives you an inside scoop on investing, don't tell anyone it was an inside scoop because that's illegal. Well, no, no, no. It, it's like I hear people all the time be like, "Yeah, my neighbor he told me to buy weed stock." It's like, okay, so who owns the weed stock company that you're investing in? Who's the CEO? Probably the tobacco what, companies. What's their balance sheet look like? You got to know this shit because people just blindly throw their money in shit. And I don't know if you know anything about the weed stocks, but they fucking plummeted mm -hmm. because it's like did they? Yeah, recently. I mean, I don't know. I'll show I, you. Well, you're my you're my stock guy. This is the biggest. This is the biggest. Uh, it's literally called weed stock. Okay. Sure. So I'll bring it up here. So this is the five year chart on it. So most people are getting the inside scoop around here. And they're like, this is when they like started legalizing it here. This is, your, this is the can of stock? Yeah. This is the big. So it went down 66% from. Oh, these are your cushions? I'm just saying, it's just like people get this whiff of something that sounds good, but. It smells you like have a skunk. To, you have to know what you're putting your fucking money into. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, from what I've learned about investing, I've read like a bunch of books and I have a family of investors. <laughs> Is you just buy, gotta be fucking careful. Luke sound, Luke's got a family of Rothschilds back home. No, no. <laughs> Not really just a family. Investors. But my whole fucking family's in real estate. Investors. My whole family's in this shit. All right. So I would say, like, I'm not, I don't even know. I'm done. <laughs> Why be, are you done? Because Come on. the two best investments I know of are, are that like you can really, like, the best one, in my opinion, is your own business. And then real estate would be second best. And if you can't afford real estate, in yourself. you can't afford real estate. There's a thing where you invest in the stock market, but you do it in monthly. What you about investing in our nation's future in education? Absolutely not. Okay. Don't do that. Why not? <laughs> investing in the future? By the time they're alive, you, they're alive in the future, you're going to be dead. Canada's balance sheet right now apparently is just fucked up. Apparently we have more debt oh, yeah? than the U.S. Apparently our debt is at 185%. It's definitely debt per capita, not debt. No, no, yeah. I'm just saying debt per capita. Yeah. It's at 185% and the U.S. is at like 160, but they've taken it down to like 120. So our debt's fucking bad. Man. I don't give a shit about the debt. I don't care either. What does it mean at the end of the day? It doesn't we, affect we me. We owe people. Fuck. I've never, I've never been personally affected by the debt, the no, national debt. It, it's like your own debt is the biggest issue. And I, like, another piece of advice when investing you know what? is pay if, off your debts before you like, invest. I want to bring your fucking credit card debt because that's twenty two percent a month. I actually want to bring yeah, Fox. I actually want. You know how hard it is to get a twenty two percent return on an investment? Not good. I don't know. Very hard. Very hard. I want to bring like a legit financial whiz in here that can explain to me how the national debt affects my personal life. I want to know. I can't because because smart people always talk about it like we got to lower the debt. I know. We got to lower like, the debt. I'm just like why? Like I don't know why. I, like, had I have no idea with my dad. why. I was like I don't give a fuck because my dad says it too. My dad's just like well that will just increase. I think the you debt. and I actually talked about this. It's like yeah. what does? But the my debt dad mean? had no answer either. He had no answer. I'd yeah. be like why. You'd be like, because when you're in debt, you pay it. <laughs> I'm, like, okay. I'm like, yeah, but we're always going to be in debt because of the, like, the crazy interest rates. Unless, aren't we? Like, unless we're like, never going to be able to pay it off. Well, I heard something crazy. I don't that know. There's more I, debt. I might sound like a fucking idiot. There's right more now. debt than no money in the world. Did you know that? No, that was hilarious. I saw a meme the other day. It was like, it was like, uh, it was like CNN reports that 
the world is in debt to a hundred, a hundred and seventy-one trillion dollars in debt. The world is in debt, and it's just like, who the fuck are we in debt to? The Decepticons? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like underneath. It's true. Like, I was like, well, yeah, exactly. Like who, who? Like can't we just as a as a united world just fucking cancel the debt? Yeah. Like what is debt? It's yeah. just nonsense. I don't it's know. Just a promise. The, uh, the only time I would say debt matters is when you're looking at picking stocks. If this company's carrying more debt. Then they have money, and there's a situation like there is like what's going on now. They have to not only keep their business afloat, but they're paying insane interest rates. So their company has a likelihood of going under. That's why when you invest in a company, you de- you make sure that they're not in debt because that's a problem when something like this happens or there's like a huge collapse. Which oh, happens. so you know what? Maybe that's the issue. We could get bought out by no, no, no. A superpower. Our, so if any other countries want to invest in Canadian like infrastructure because right. we're in crazy debt they are less likely to invest in canadian interests maybe just like a stockbroker or let's like somebody who's like investing in the stock market is going to be less less interested in investing in a company that's in debt it would be the same with these hedge fund groups and global interests that invest in countries maybe they're less likely to invest in you the more debt you're in hmm. i don't know Maybe I, that's I it. also want someone to come on and explain inflation. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's, maybe it's, vertic- maybe it's horizontally connected like that. I want to I want to know the exact ins and outs of inflation. Cause I like I have trouble wrapping my head around how that really works. Like how do you pump fake money into an economy? Like I don't understand how the Fed can just pump like seven trillion. Well, they're not supposed to. That's what causes inflation. I know, but then what does that affect first? Inflation. Inflation affects um, like non-elastic goods or, or a bottle el- of Coca-Cola goes from like 250 to three dollars no i fuck i forget it's elastic and inelastic i don't know last <laughs> i'm just saying a lot of yeah I, I, do we have a any lot of friends econo- who did it economics my brother did a lot of economic oh yeah mario let's get did fucking connor on here mario did a lot of inelastic goods and right. an elastic goods i'm just saying maybe we'll do a buzz, podcast buzzwords. on all financial shit and get someone really good in here yeah i'm sure a lot of our viewers will like that <laughs> yeah. so can I do the UFC picks quick? Yeah. So, yeah, we got UFC. Do you have, like, a fighting theme thing or Let something? Let me see. Let's see what we got. Let's see here. Um, Fighting thing. Oh, yeah. Boy, you want to eat my ass so true. Mm. Whose ass is getting eaten this, That's, this, in this yeah, event? Yeah, when they roll around, you want to know whose ass gets eaten. All right, Luke, I'm going to go fill my water so, so you talk. UFC 249 coming up this weekend. I think it's 100% happening. I'm going to say 95%. It's locked and loaded. They're making uh, like YouTube videos for it. So we had originally this fight was supposed to be Ferguson versus Khabib. That fight had been scheduled four previous times, making this the fifth. It was canceled because Khabib, for some reason, was back in Russia, probably because his family lives there, and he couldn't get back to America. And every- everyone was saying, you're ducking, you're ducking. It's like, I don't know. He just maybe wants to be with his family during crazy times. Huh? Well, he was trying to make Fight Island. Anyways, it was originally supposed to be Ferguson versus Gaethje. Ferguson is on a 12-fight winning streak in the division, longest of all time, and he hasn't lost in, I think, like eight or nine years, something crazy. Um, The thing with this main event is um, I don't know much about Gaethje, actually. I, I don't think I've... I think I've maybe seen him fight once. But if I were going to pick who I thought was a better fighter, who, who's better all around, ground, sh- like, striking, um, wrestling, like, everything just tied. I would say I would say Ferguson's most likely going to win this. And I think he's a little more hungry because I think if he loses this fight, it could screw him when it comes to the, the talks of him and Khabib fighting again or maybe putting him in the, as like the best ever in the division. So I think he has more riding on this than Gaethje. And I think he's been training a lot harder because when you're training for someone like Khabib, you're going to go balls out because Khabib doesn't fucking lose. So if I were going to put money on it, I would take Ferguson because look at the guys he fights. After, like Google a photo of Ferguson's last eight matches. They literally look like they got run over by a fucking train. At all their faces are get, got cut up. He's amazing off his back. He's amazing on his feet. If he feels like it's not going well on his feet, he goes to the ground. He's like trained by 
Eddie Bravo's jujitsu is unbelievable. Conspiracy not. Here I am taking I'm, I'm taking Tony Ferguson in that first one. <clears throat> Me too. In the second, Henry Cejudo versus Cruz. I got to go Cejudo. He's fresher. He's fought more. Cruz is a great fighter, but... He he would he I think he would get out wrestled. He might be a better striker. We'll see. Cejudo's fast as fuck. I'm going Cejudo. Um, the next one, Rosenstrike Francis, barn burner. I mean, these the number one and number three fights are absolute barn burners. Like they sh- this this is a heavyweight, and both of them only strike. Like they're just strikers. That's it. So, I mean, pick your poison. I think Francis is stronger and has more reach. So. Again, I'm I'm sticking with the lefties here on the left on the left side of the screen. I'm going with Francis, but Rosenstruck. Either one could win, but if I were gonna bet for fun, fucking give me Francis. And then Calvin Cater versus Stevens. Give me Cater. I I don't know much about either. I've seen Stevens lose a lot lately. Yeah, throw one to the right side. I'm gonna throw one to the right side there. And then we got Greg Hardy versus. Jorgen De Castro, like I don't know, if, they keep throwing Greg Hardy these fucking nobodies because they want to build him up. I don't know if you know Greg Hardy he played for the Panthers and he got kicked oh, off for shit. beating his wife. Dude, I remember him. Yeah. I actually do. Yeah, he played for the Panthers defensive end and he beat his wife or something crazy like multiple times. And now he and now, now he's he has to fighter. prove that he can beat up men too. So and they've been throwing him bums honestly and yeah. and uh, they're just he's already to build him a up. name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with, I, I guess I got to take Hardy here. He's just, <laughs> you got to support your, I got to go with the white beaters. Yeah, you got to support one. your fellow domestic violence fellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm um, kidding. Luke has never done anything. I'm trying like to that. think there's like, there's a Cerrone's also on this card too. Is he on the pre-card? Yeah. I don't know wh- where it is. Um, oh, pre, here we go. The prelim. Come on. Give me the prelims. I'm trying to click the button. Aaron, why won't it work? I don't know. Let's no idea. I'm almost done here, guys. UFC prelims. Man, I'm surprised you don't want to stay and drink afterwards. I honestly, I do, but like, I'm embarrassed about how fat I've gotten. Like, I've been jogging a lot, and I just don't have want some to... locale drinks. <laughs> I guess the LC just closed, anyways. Uh, yeah. 18 minutes ago. I'm going up to my cottage this weekend too. Unless so you want to. Fucking... You're going to drink up there? Yeah. Alone? No, everyone's going up. Who's everyone? The whole family, like Jamie, Megan, the kids. The kids are boozing. Sounds like, sounds like a drink fest. Dude, I where the fuck are the prelims? I don't know. I, I Who? Oh, Cerrone versus Pettis. All right, oh, here we go. That's a big fight. That's a huge fight. And it's a prelim. It's mm-hmm. fucked. Yeah, there's going to be three mega cards, right, in, in a row? That's what they're saying. Yeah. And thank you, Florida. Honestly, thank you, Jacksonville, Florida, for not being pussies and throw one. Because these guys, what these guys were trying to say is like, hey, we fight each other. We beat the fuck out of each other. You think, like, it matters if we get this other thing that we don't want to say on here? Mm-hmm. They're like, we're more likely to die in the ring than <laughs> the other one. Um, Yeah. Dude, why are they, like they don't make it clickable? I'm confused. This is UFC 249. Yeah. Usually, when you just type it in on Google, it just yeah. Pops u- up. Usually, yeah. Usually, they have the uh, little uh, yeah. That's weird. Anyways, I I'll cut it short because I don't want to sit here and make everyone watch me fucking look. But I have to go. I I, I love Cerrone, but. He even said recently in the interview he wasn't He's slowing he, down. Two days before the Connor fight, he said he didn't want to be there. So it's like, what makes you think you're gonna want to fight Pettis, who is an ex belt holder, who's who almost beat <coughs> Ferguson? Like he was not. I'm not gonna say almost beat. He, it was a stoppage because of a cut. Cerrone fights too much, man. I, I don't know if it's too, healthy too for much. him. Like, no, I don't, man. He's it's. It's actually like insane how much he fights. It's yeah. like every two months he's, he's, he's he has the most fights of all time. That's what I mean. Like it's like, man, if you don't want to be there, maybe take maybe skip a fight. Honestly, does he blow his money? Like, what's he doing? Why yeah. does he need to fight I, all the time? I don't know. He says he loves it, but then like you see an interview with with him talking about how he didn't want to be there for the McGregor fight. And you're like, do you really love it or like? Well, he probably loves it, but like you can only do. It. Is Uriah Hall back? Did you find the? Did you find it? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah. Send the link. 
on Facebook. I don't know. Are these are these the? Uh... I do think Uriah Hall is on this card. Didn't he? Oh, is that a Uriah Faber? Yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of Uriah Faber. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, LA Army. Yeah, I mean, sent it to you. Dude, I hate when you go on a website and they're like, just type in your email. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's a quick X out for me every time. Um. Okay, here we go. I actually found them. Holy shit. So Cerrone versus Pettis. I'm taking Pettis. Alexei Olenek versus Fabricio Verdum. If you don't remember Verdum, he's like a famous. I don't remember him. <sighs> I'm going to. Dude, I don't know. So they're trying to make their Michelle Waterson's fighting the karate hottie. What you what UFC is doing right now? I'm surprised. Like, is Conor McGregor on one of these next three super cards? I wouldn't be shocked. He has to be. He's got to be right. So what he's like? Remember, like I wasn't alive for it, but like the Muhammad Ali super fights. I don't know how what they're gonna they get used, him there though. He's in, he's in Ireland. What they used to what they used to have like those massive events, like worldwide events. Like what that's what they're trying to do with this UFC thing right now. Especially because they're the first ones to open up. That's what I mean. Everyone's right? gonna it's like watch everybody's everyone's waiting bored for sports. As fuck, man. Everybody's waiting for sports. They're trying to make these this a massive super fight. And honestly, as much as we want to rag on um what's his name? The bald guy who runs it. Uh, I don't want to rag on him. I I completely I think no, I'm he's saying a bit, people people do though. Yeah, I think he's a bit of a, a nut, but but I'm He's saying, just a guy like, trying to run he, his business. He knows how to market. There's a reason why the UFC, when they were bought out, they said we want to keep Dana White because he know he knows what the fuck they're doing. There's a reason. There's a reason. Uh, he knows how to fucking make well, it. There, yeah. There's a reason that they went from like some like underground fucking mat wrestling like organization organization to like bigger than boxing. And boxing used to be like the biggest thing ever. Yeah. It'll be. It'll like, be. Boxing was art. Was. Like, I don't know if this is off base, but boxing, like, at one point was, like, rivaling soccer with, like, worldwide popularity. Was it? Think about I think some of basketball those... is now. No. No? It's nothing rivals soccer now. Soccer is, like, insanely. Like, what? Well, uh, every, every country. In North America, I would say that. I would say that. But basketball. North America is, like, what's the percentage of the world that North America covers? And China, too. Isn't China, isn't China likes soccer. In, I think they like basketball more. I was in I China, and they were basketball nuts everywhere. I don't know. But I have no idea. I'm, I not think gonna, I, I'm not going to put an absolute on a, on any of that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, there's soccer fans there. There's definitely soccer fans, but I think if they were going to choose, the NBA is big in China. Yeah, but like soccer, like some people think soccer was invented in China. Oh, really? Yeah. All so. right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, so next up is, thank you guys for listening to two of my segments. Now Aaron's favorite segment Survivor Talk with Look at there. Who will survive? Tony Flat shows is the goat fox Sandra my number one pick i like this part this part is like a little you, you start to like ooh. ooh. oh fuck this song gets me fired up Woo! dude we got a big episode coming <laughs> big episode Man. luke has seen me watch survivor it's like i'm watching a sporting event it's, it's actually <laughs> scary <laughs> A little nerve wracking. I'm up. I got my wine in my hands. I'm like, get him! No, don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> He's make, he makes like a platter of like food. He's, oh, like, it's an on, event. Yeah, there's a whole. I, that's actually only been recently because I don't have sports in my life anymore to do that kind of you thing. Did that with the draft. You did yeah. that. So like any excuse I have, I'm just like, I'm making a night of it. Like, it, let's oh, go. A real night. Like let's go. You're the ultimate. Let's make a night of it. You're more. Yeah. In that you're more like Burt Kreischer in that way. Yeah. To be honest. I love to make a night. You like of it. to make a night. Yeah. Like I'll get a platter, I'll get a whole spread of food. Yeah. I'll make I got my booze. I got like my my other things. Like Can we take our sunglasses off? We look like the fucking blues brothers right now. <laughs> 
I'm I've been wearing them the whole time. Well, I don't want to get I don't want my eyes to burn open from how much light that family was shining on. Sure, me. you can you can take your sunglasses. No, I'm off. not going to leave mine. This on. is a battle of who can leave them on longer now. Sure, you're losing. No, I'm, I'm leaving not. them on. No, I'm not. All right, go. Continue. Anyways, yeah. So I like to I like to have things all set up. So yeah, this past week on Survivor is another great Tony episode. Um, I mean, I. I honestly, like, I didn't prepare as well as I did last time because last Tony episode was, like, I watched it, like, three yeah, times. Yeah, you came in fresh. Yeah. Well, we also did this podcast the day after, Yeah, right? we or did. The, something crazy. Yeah, we did. So, this so episode... So, what happened last episode? So was, this so episode la- was Kim. Was Kim's just, demise. I just want to tell everyone, today is May 5th, Tuesday. So, the ne- the episode... Happy birthday, Anthony Nguyen, if you're, if you're watching this. May 5th. Hey. Shout out to you. Happy birthday, May 4th. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Pamela Ranson, my mother, yesterday. Anthony. If she's watching. Happy birthday, Pam, Pam Ranson. Ranson. <laughs> Happy Everyone just knows her name now. Birthday, Anthony Nguyen. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Fine. He's trapped in his Bleep. condo. But she, they know my last name because I say Aaron Ranson at the beginning. And, and then there's if I no say Pam. Den. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyways, all, like, a little distracted uh, there. <laughs> we uh, can serenade you. you while I continue to get into the Survivor talk. Anthony Nguyen. So uh, <laughs> he's getting creepy. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Kim was booted this week because yeah. she tried to. She tried to double cross our boys. Well, yeah, that that's the thing. Uh, if you take a shot at the king, you best not miss. That's Omar the Wire slash Tony Vlachos. I need to watch that show. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, so that's one of the big. That's one of the big uh, lines. It's, uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna take a shot at the king, you best not miss. All right. So like I Kim, said, like I just claimed himself the king. I like that. Yeah, Kim Omar is the king of the streets. Okay, cool. So yeah, good for Omar. So Tony was he's been running this game for the last three weeks. It's he, turned into the best best survivor season ever. In my opinion, one of them. I liked heroes versus villains, but like this the one. The complete right, shenanigans are just amazing. Because he's just been so entertaining oh, throughout. Yeah. Like, and it's like the only way somebody else can win is if he goes. Is, if he well, gets if they down. goes and it's their if it's their blind side. He's still good. He's got an he's got an idol, and too. he never misplays idols. No. If he misplays the idol, I will be I'll be heartbroken. Yeah. But okay, so let's go over what happened in this episode, I, what and I, then what we think is going to happen. I just want to say episode. one thing. I almost feel like I should bring one of these home, and you and I do a, a post Survivor Skype call tomorrow, or on Thursday, and then we can just release we, only. We can just play it into the the epi- into the next episode of the podcast, or I mean, we release no, it I'm as just a saying clip. we can release a clip. If you want to do that, maybe we'll talk about it. We'll see. Okay, go. Let okay. them have it. I might not use this if that's the case because I have my podcast mic back. Whatever. We'll talk semantics later. Um, You'll get to know how to use the old okay, <laughs> the old roadie. So uh, yeah, so Kim's demise this week. She tried to take a shot at the King Tony. She was trying to get the troops all together. Oh, now I remember everything that happened. Okay, here we go. So Kim had. Kim had a Kim had a little bit of a campaign going to get Tony out. I think everybody understood that after that last move, after Tony had taken out Sophie, he'd won two immunities in a row. He was flying. And everyone was like, did we actually let Tony Vlachos get to this far in the game? Like everyone was like, what the fuck did we just do? Because going in, like nobody had had a more dominant season than Tony, Kim, Boston Rob, Sandra. They had like... The big, they're Parvati, like they had the big, t- like targets on their back. Tyson, right. right? So, well, once everyone, once having Tony, once that, all those big names left, it was like just Tony's left. Like, yeah, of the big names, like Jeremy's a big name. He didn't, but he didn't like he didn't win on his first try. He's a, he's more of a social play. I don't know. Like, Tony is just like one of those guys. Like, he can go on a run at the end, and he can scramble and win. And if you let him have the opportunity to scramble, like he will make you pay for it he's the best scrambler yeah it's crazy and like because people like him as a person yeah too, right so he's, he's so like he's approachable likable he can goofy. read people like a book oh yeah um and that works into this because he's very good at like oh come on like, but he's also he's also good and I, i'm gonna get into like let, let me let's get into the episode well, I was, and we'll I, talk I, more about what I tony was just does saying, once everyone yeah. left 
all the big names, like Holy it was shit. very obvious. It was like you are you're in, you're in <laughs> yeah, trouble. Yeah. Like yeah, that's what, how Tony felt. Yeah. Well, Tony. Yeah, Tony was like, I'm ba- on my back's against the wall. Yeah. But then he kept winning immunities. So this week, before immunity, Kim realizes she's like. Tony, they all know he's got an eye. Like, no, no, they don't now. They don't at this point. So they're all, they all kind of realize they're like, Tony's the biggest threat in this game. We need to get him out. Uh, Kim approaches, Kim approaches um, Michelle. Kim approaches Jeremy. No, sorry. Kim approaches Michelle. Kim approaches Ben. Kim approaches Nick. Kim approaches Denise and herself. So they would have a contingency of five versus three, which would be Tony, Jeremy, and Sarah. That they didn't approach, right? So Kim has the votes to get Tony out. And she's collected this. She's shown great social awareness where she's talking to Tony and she's like, this guy's bullshitting me. She's really the only person that, at least in their confessionals, in the edit, that they've made it seem like, okay, Kim's got a her finger on the pulse here. And she knows what's going on. And she knows that Tony is the guy that they need to get out. Because I feel like Ben is very distracted by Jeremy. Ben and Nick. Um, Michelle, I think, realizes that she might have to work with Jeremy, who's working with Tony, so she doesn't want to, like, ruin that relationship. Mm -hmm. So Kim's really the only one that kind of knows, like, we got to get Tony out of this game. And I think maybe Denise knows, too. So they all have this plan to get Tony out, those five. And then they go to the immunity challenge, and it's the challenge where you have to hold your arm up right? Like this. And there's a bucket of water. And if you lower your arm a little bit, the water comes down on you. You're out. They also added the balance beam. Yeah. Type thing. So they added a balance beam on the bottom just to make it a little bit harder. And this I is thought what, Jeremy was going to win. Yeah. So this is one of those, this is one of those, um, uh, survi- immune, and one of those immunity challenges where Jeff will tease you with food to drop. Right. Right. And so this plays a huge role in this, uh, in this immunity. And it almost made it seem a little bit I don't know. It was, it was a little... I didn't like it that much that they all dropped. I, I was like, where's the I think fire? They, I think they made it too... Hard. Hard. I like when it's an endurance challenge. Like, two hours. Hold your arm where up. Or like, before they were allowed to hold their arm up like this, or they're allowed to like, keep, keep it balanced. Like, in this one, he says specifically, he's like, do not touch your arm, you'll be out. Yeah. Right? And it was so too easy it for made, it to come down. Yeah, it made it way harder. I like that, like, you gotta dig deep... You gotta last an hour, hour and a half if you're gonna win. Because I feel like they were like even they, even yeah. Jeff was shocked how quick it went. Because they I feel like a, they had like entrees of food ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so, like, people start dropping, and then it's down to, uh, it's down to Nick. Yeah, and this one was a double immunity too, which was weird. I hated that. Yeah, I don't like that. Denise either. got really cocky with that necklace yeah. around it. Like yeah. her at tribal they, was. They usually don't do double immunities this late in the game. No. No, it's usually like right at like right when merge happens, they'll do a couple. Like this is like this is final eight. Her 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 uh, the way she handled herself talking to Jeremy mm-hmm. was like absurd. Yeah, she shot herself in the foot. Really in hard. the foot there. But I love how he's like, are you sure you want to do this? Let's get to that when we're at the tribal. So like throughout this immunity, like we're like, okay, so Ben drops, Jeremy drops. Then it's just Tony and Nick. And so Michelle drops for the women. Um, Then it's no, sorry, not Michelle. Who dropped first for the women? Sarah. Sarah dropped. Yeah. So Sarah drops. Then it's Michelle, Kim and Denise left. Right. And so they're kind of going and Ben's already out um, and Jeremy's already out. And then it's so it's five people left. It's Nick and Tony battling for the men, the male immunity. And it's Michelle, Denise and Kim battling for the female immunity. And for some reason, when Jeff brings out peanut butter and cookies and milk. Three of them drop. Like literally handing the two immunities to the two people left. Like Nick drops. The two, arguably two of the biggest threats too. The worst drop, the worst drop was Kim because you had a plan tonight. Yeah. Like you had a plan. Why the fuck are you dropping? Like you never drop if you have this, if you're trying to, if you're trying to take a shot at the kingpin tonight. Dropping when there's nine left as a whole is the dumbest shit ever. 
I've never, yeah, if I'm I mean, playing I, Survivor, I'm not dropping once. In fairness, I've never felt the kind of hunger that they probably That's are true. feeling. But at the same time, it's like, this is for two schmill, and you guys are all winners. You know what it takes to win. What the fuck are you doing? Why are yeah. you dropping? Yeah. Like, Kim, Kim dropping was crazy, but, like, Kim is, because it's the double immunity, it's like, Kim is... Uh, Nick at least got a fire token, and he like, knew he was not the thing last. about yeah. But the thing about Nick is like he was part of that the, that group of five that had the that had the plan to vote out Tony, mm -hmm. and it ended up coming back to bite him because Tony wins. He wins one of the fire two fire tokens, gives one to Nick because as Nick was falling, he says, "Tony, will you give me one of the fire tokens?" And Tony gives him the fire tokens. Nick gets to eat, um, which is another thing. Normally, when they fall, it's like you get to eat until the end of the challenge. Well, that's because when he fell, it was like it was the, the challenge end. was done. Not right? Done. But that's what I mean. So it's like, did they just make an exception to the rule? Like, you can eat now, I guess, because he now got it's like over. one cookie. Yeah, like not worth it. No. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what happened with that because they didn't really show us that. They could just kind of like showed them eating a little bit. So that was. So they, I also want to go back to what happened yeah. on, uh, what is it called? Like, Edge. Yeah, Edge of Extinction. Let's talk about that after because I'm. I'm I'm kind of well. No, we'll just brush by. Basically, sure. who it was they had like a you challenge had to run where they coconuts had to run, back, and you get two yeah. uh, two fire, fire tokens. tokens each for the for the top six. I and think it should be less than six. Each. I think it should have been top three to really fucking step it up. Well, you know what I heard? I heard like which would have been such a, so much of a cooler thing, um, where like it was like a it's a game of like it's a game of chance, right? And it's, it's a game of like anything can happen. Expect the unexpected. So. One thing that somebody like posted online that they were like, I thought this was going to happen where like the first six were going to win and get their 20 coconuts back. And then people who were still going, the real advantage would be at the bottom pile of the coconuts, oh. right? Where there'd be like a scroll or something. I thought that, I think that would actually be really cool because it would be like, this guy never quit and it actually like paid so off. So B-Rob got one? B or no, not even B-Rob. Like Danny was still going, yeah. like... Ethan was still going. Maybe Adam was still going, and there was Adam. something. And there was something at the bottom. You know what I mean? Well, B Rob actually finished. Yeah, like, but that's what I mean, right? It's like it would have been cool if maybe like there was like a phantom prize of like you get two fire tokens for twenty things. But really, the real prize is at the bottom of the coconuts that you're not expecting. It's like a like a something you can sell to the people on on the island. Who do you think is going to get themselves back in? Natalie. You think so? I hope so. But anyways, let's. I hope so for me. So. The whole story behind that Jeremy is... wins if she's back. Yeah. The whole story behind that is Natalie, Parvati, Sophie, Tyson. Um, who else won? Yule and... Um, Who's that really skinny woman? Danny. Did Danny get get one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So those six won fire tokens. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's the... No, uh, the black dude. Wendell. Wendell. Yeah, Wendell. Sorry, yeah. So Danny didn't, Wendell did. So I'll keep going. Um, and the whole story behind that is just, then they showed Boston Rob, who'd earlier in the challenge had cracked his elbow, and he was running, and he was like, I'll never quit, because I want my little girls to realize that you never quit in life, even if you've lost already. You never quit. And it's like, okay, wow. Good work, Boston Rob. You got your camera time in. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, but it was a nice story, whatever. It's... It's nice. Show us more of the island. Show us more of the actual um, game that's still for $2 million. Like, you can show me this challenge, but show me it later. Like, or show me less of it. Like, you don't have to show me, like, the whole storyline for 10 minutes of them running back and forth. Like, I get it. They ran a lot. That's, that's all I got to say about that. So, anyways, we get back into the game, and... They get back from tri uh, from the immunity challenge. Tony's got a necklace, and Denise has a necklace. And at this point, Kim's whole plan is out the window. And Ben, a lot of people say that this was a bad move by Ben. I don't think it was. I really don't, because you can't get you can't get Tony out at this point, and you still want to get a big target out. So what Ben does is he completely throws Kim's plan out the window. And she goes to Tony and he goes to Tony and he says, listen, Tony, man, like they were going to blindside you if you didn't win immunity. They were going to get you. And a lot of people have criticized Ben for that. This is what I was just saying, Luke. A lot of people have criticized Ben and think that's a bad move. I don't think it was a bad move. What he, did he do? He exposed Kim's plan to eliminate Tony to Tony. So he just, he, he gained trust with 
the kingpin, Tony, in the game. Yeah. That's what he did there by telling him. And he removed somebody that was originally what we thought who was who Tony was really close to. I thought Nick was had a good relationship with Tony. And Tony kept saying, like, no, I trust Nick 100%. And right. be, he had said that, said that to Ben. And so I think what Ben did there was he said, I got to, like, let Tony know that Nick was in on this vote. Right. And so when he let when he let Tony know that, Tony immediately goes over to Nick and he says, uh, yeah, Nick, like apparently they're going to blindside me. Did you hear? And the way Tony does these things is perfect. Nick's reaction right? to it was just, uh, but he baits, he yeah. baits them in. Right. So what he does, right. Is he, he goes and just go down. Yeah, he doesn't go and like Ben told me this. He goes, it's like, I heard, he's my like, name I heard, yeah, I heard my name was going around. Like Kim, maybe at the fire this morning was apparently saying it. And, and Nick's like, no, I didn't hear anything like that. And just, oh, really? You didn't hear it because Ben actually told me that you were there and you were part of it and you were like part of throwing my name around. And mm. Nick's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, my question is. No, actually, you know, I do is, remember Kim saying it, is, but you've always been good, man. Don't worry. And Tony's my, like, this guy's lying to my fucking face. As good as, as good as that is, I still don't know if confronting him is the right option. Yeah, because you want to you want to see if he's lying to you. Right. You don't know if he's lying or not because Ben could be lying. Ben could just be trying. Right. But now he's like, okay, I've caught you. Like, he should have been I even caught more. You I, I, I still think he approached it really well for someone who knows. Because like, Nick, Nick could have played get, it off. People get offended when like you're, you're talked about behind your back, right? So I get that to even compose yourself that much must have been difficult, but he could have composed himself even more and made Nick feel less uncomfortable. I don't because know, Nick man. right away ran to the other group and said, oh, duh, 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 he's ben, saying... Ben told Ben told this. Yeah, so but that's, then that's... But it's almost you like... You want to avoid that. It's almost like the target's on Ben, though. I know, but you got to be like... You got to be like, why? listen, like, I, I, I... Maybe if you were talking about me, I forgive you, but, like, let, why don't we just continue working together? Like, why... I don't agree. No? No. Because from Tony's standpoint, it's like, we're at the bottom... We're at, like, we're at the end of the game here, Right? There's only a certain amount of people that I can trust. And like Nick, I thought Nick was one of those guys that I could trust. He said it to them. He was like, I trust Nick 100%. Don't worry about Nick. And so in his mind, he's like, this is a guy that actually has been duping me. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, obviously, I can't trust him if this is true. So I have to find out if this is true. So he goes up to Nick and he says... Almost, it's kind of a bully tactic, but it worked because it was clear that Nick was lying, right? So he needed to find that out. And he's like, okay. And because, but at the end of it, he, he did patch it up. He was like, he was like, okay, yeah, like, don't worry. Like, don't worry. And Nick ended up still voting with Tony. So Nick thinks that that relationship's fine. But if you've ever watched a Tony season, if you get on his bad side once, you're done. Right. Like, he's not going to work with you. So Nick's done now. And Ben has got himself in a good situation because not only that, but we, after the, the Tony and Nick stuff, we realize there has to be another target somewhere, right? So, um, who did, who did Kim, who did Kim and, uh, oh yeah, they all voted for Jeremy. Yeah. So Jeremy becomes it the was new five, three, right? Yeah. Jeremy becomes the new target. And there's a lot Tony, of big targets laying around. Tony man. was all right with this target at the beginning until he finds out that Kim was targeting him. This is always what happens with Tony. He's like, you know what? Yeah, maybe it's time to get Jeremy out. And then Ben comes and he goes, yo, Kim was talking shit. Yeah. And then he's like, okay, Kim, I got to convince people to get Kim out now. Yeah. Like, right? why would you do that? Why would who do that? Ben? No, Kim. Oh yeah. Kim. Well, Kim, Kim thought she would be fine. Kim thought he wasn't going to win a third straight immunity, but he did. Right. Right. So he starts throwing. He but the starts thing throwing is, Kim's Ben could. I get that you disagree with the people that Ben did the right thing, but Ben could have thrown his game out the window there. You know, like giving how? up. How? Because getting rid of Tony, he's the most likely to win this game right now. So getting rid of Tony, I, maybe because it wasn't Ben's plan, he felt less attached to it. But I think, you know, like if it was Ben's plan, then that's different. Well, yeah, because, because you're getting out one of the big boys. Yeah, but I think Ben was an integral part of getting Kim out, and I think he can use that in his speech. Totally. Right? Because he voted for Kim. He was the one that he exposed the exposed plan. exposed it. And he exposed Nick. Yeah. So he's he now, and he found an... But then he does something totally Ben-like again, 
where after Tony and he Sarah to fucking hide after, it on. Yeah, after Tony and Sarah are talking and they're like, we got to get the idol. Yeah. And so the, everybody, the whole Island, we called it. We were like, there's going to be an idol hunt. Everybody goes searching for the idol and Ben blatantly in front of Tony picks it out of the tree and tries to stuff it in his pocket. And Tony played it. Tony played it perfectly. He's like, no, no, it's okay. He's making fun of him. Like, he's oh. just like, oh, like he was like, what are you, what are you trying to do, Ben? I yeah. saw you. I, I, I literally am right here. What are you doing? Yeah. I saw you. Yeah. And then like they had like that B-roll of him like fumbling with it. <laughs> He's just like just yeah. making fun of Ben. It was pretty brutal. Yeah. And then Ben in his confessional is just like, yeah, you know, Tony's told me about all of his advantages. You know, I might have wanted to keep this one for me, but Tony caught me and, you know, we're okay. And maybe I don't trust Tony so much. And like it was perfect how they edited it because like maybe I don't trust Tony so much. And like they edited as he was saying it, like Ben was carrying Tony down the yeah. down the path, like <laughs> singing with him about getting the idol. So you never want Tony to know you have an idol. So I understand why he did that because that just puts a target on your back. But I think there's bigger fish to fry for Tony. I think he needs to get Nick first. And, uh, I think at the end of the day, that might end up hurting Ben, but it's good that he has an idol because he's always played idols well as well in his final who do you think's, seasons. Who do you think is going home uh, tomorrow? I, I keep saying this every week. And but does like, anyone know a website you can illegally stream Survivor? Yeah, Send it to I, me because I don't have cable where I am right now. Just uh, ask me. Oh, you do? That's what I do. You? I, I thought you Prime had... Primewire AG. AG. Primewire.ag. Oh, I thought you had cable here. Yeah, I do, but I, I watch them after, too. But you can I watch them live. No, I'm saying live. Oh, yeah, I can't. I don't know live. Yeah. Yeah. I always wait like an hour or two if I if I have to. All right. Anyways, but yeah, um, so. I think that, uh, who do you think is going to go home? We haven't even got to tribal yet. We've been, oh, we've been talking too many, cir- we've been talking in circles. Yeah, this is like 20 minutes long already. Yeah, whatever. We, it's a, <laughs> we're going to make a clip. And it's going to be a full, maybe it's a half an hour of Survivor Talk somebody wants to watch I just want to talk about the next episode more than what happened. Like, just go on and on about it. Because we all know Tony had a great move. Well, it was it was a great move because it was another one of those tribals where we were talking about how they had the whispering and that was getting kind of annoying. But in this one, they added the subtitles more. So we knew a little bit more of what was going on. Right? And there was a lot of, uh, we also forgot to mention, there's so much that went on in this episode. We also forgot to mention that Michelle gave Jeremy the 50-50 coin. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And he just, he just like. Decided not to play it. Yeah. And because the way of edited, Tony. The way they edited it, it made it seem like for sure Jeremy was going home mm. because he didn't play that. Yeah. But but it was literally like, like they they made Tony look so good. In the, and, and that's why I think he might, he's either going to win or he's going to get fucked final four. Right. So in the. In the end, they're all they're all talking. It's either Tony, Tony wants Kim, but Kim doesn't know it. Kim thinks Tony's still voting for Jeremy, um, and so they start doing the the whisper thing, and everybody and Sarah immediately is just like, "Holy shit!" I think Kim's trying to switch the vote for me. So Tony's like, Tony's trying to pull in Nick. Tony's trying to pull in, uh, pull in Ben. He knows that he has two votes on Kim, but he knows he needs five. So he's working, he's, he's dealing. They're like, they're going into these little groups everywhere. And then when they finally go to vote and then they sit down and Jeff asks, if you have an immunity idol, now is the time to play it. Right. Tony goes, Sarah, do I need to play this for you? Just a total like big dick move. Like, do you want this? Cause I'm safe. Do you need this? And Sarah, I think smartly on her part, part because she knew she wasn't going home. A lot of people were like, if somebody offered me an idol, I'd just take it immediately. But you don't want to make it seem like somebody's playing your game for you. Right. So you're like, I'm fine. I don't need it. Like, I don't need you to help I have the me. I don't option, need you to help me. I'm good. Yeah, I don't need you to help me. Um, I don't understand why she wanted him to stay. Because she was his friend with him. Like, what? What do you mean? I, I like Sarah and Tony are cops or us. That's like, they've been, they've been... No, 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 Michelle. Michelle gave him the coin. Oh, because... Michelle's been working with Jeremy since the original sailing. I know, drop. but if you can get someone big out, you take the shot. It doesn't matter. It's like winners. I war, don't know, right? man. So I, I think I think she well, she still something. voted. She still voted for him. Yeah, which exactly. was jury, which was jury management for sure. She yeah. didn't want she didn't want Kim. That's to a think Big that Brother she, move, which I yeah. fucking hate about Big Brother. They got to get rid of that nonsense. What? Jury management votes. I'm only doing this because I. It's like I hate how I little swing votes. It's the mind games. Swing votes don't happen much in that in that show. Um, but who do you think's going home tomorrow night? 
Um, Today is Tuesday. I've always I've had a I've had a weird thing about Denise for the last few weeks. I think her time's numbered, but at the same time, Nick has put a target on himself. Jeremy's squeaked by three straight tribals. I don't know how he keeps doing it. Actually, I do. His name's Tony, but. I think I don't think any of the big dogs are going. I think it would be. I think Denise is definitely. Kim like, was a big. Nick or Denise. Kim was a big. Was a big fish that went out last yeah. episode. That's a big fish. I think Nick or Denise. That's my picks. Yeah, I think. Um, battle backs too. It's a two-hour episode. Yeah, there'll be a battle back. There might be two eliminations. Nick and Denise go. There might. Yeah, I think there's gonna honestly be, like the way Nick has be... played is such like he's played a really bad game. Mm, he's he, he there. He's there. He's there, but. He hasn't done much, man. Like, he tried. He tried to do, to do something. He tried to turn on Tony, and it got. He got he, caught. No, he didn't do it. He fucking tried to do but it. He went in. He went in was, with Kim. Yeah, I know, but just because you decide to turn, it has to be your idea. In my was, opinion, I'm, yeah, sure. To, it's better to hold it's up. Idea. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like he's not really generated anything fantastic, and he's kind of been boring. But another thing I want to talk about too is I think it's probably yeah I think Denise Nick somebody like that. Um, those are my two. That's my guess for the two that are gonna go home. Yeah, is Denise and Nick. So I want to talk about what I Boston think- Rob said at the end and why they kept it in the edit, right? So right after the edit, Tony is Tony looks oh, like yeah, the god. Tony the- looks like the Godfather there because he's like, Sarah, do you need my help? Then Jeremy pulls out his. He's like, No, no, dude, don't play it. Don't play it. <laughs> I got the votes for you. Don't play it. Yeah. And then after it, he doesn't play it. He doesn't play the thing for Sarah. So he big time. He literally big times two players. He's telling Jeremy how to play his game, and he's listened to him. He's offering Sarah like immunities. Like, do you need it? Do you need it? Because I got you if you need it. And then after the vote, he goes to Ben. He goes, "Hey Ben, are you good? Like, are you fine? You're okay?" Like he's like comforting Ben because yeah. he's like, "I know you didn't want to vote that way, but thank you for going with me. <laughs> yeah. I'll make it worth your while." You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then he sits there like this. And Boston Rob goes, holy, Tony is a boss. And yeah. like, it's just, it's so obvious. That it's either you're... an edit like that. It's like either Tony wins or he's about to get blindsided like crazy. Or he goes to the end and just doesn't make it because of the final four vote. Well, the final four, I think this year is going to be a fire. It's going to be a fire making. We'll see. Don't ruin it for me if you've heard anything. I haven't heard anything. All right. That's usually how the final four goes though. Oh. One person. One I thought person, they had to like make their. Uh, like they had to like bag them to take because the one person gets taken, right? Yeah, one person gets taken, and then the other person like they can just be like, "Well, like we're gonna send you to fire." Right. So I hope that happens. Um. But yeah, that's Survivor talk. That's Ooh. what we think. Pretty great. Yeah. That, um. That I episode. Got... Sorry. I just add this at the end. Sorry, it was a little bit scrambled. I didn't prepare as well for this one as the last one, and there was just so much shit that I was remembering. As we went, there. I don't really think it matters. We're just having a podcast. No, There's you know what I mean. Guys talking. You know what I mean. Like people shit. like the su- people. People like the survivor. Uh, survivor segments. I got one. I was remembering some stuff midway through. This might not make it in, but okay. This is a sword fight in Tehran. This is. Oh, I thought you said Tehran, like Toronto, like you were short for me. Oh, no. <laughs> like it, it's a sword fight in Tehran. A sword fight in 2020. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to play that quick. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Who would have thought? Holy shit. Who would have thought? All right. Um anyways, guys. Um That's the podcast. Yeah, thanks for listening. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get back to you next week. Uh, once we figure out all the results for the UFC, Survivor. When we're going to get out of our houses. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm moving in here soon. That's exciting. Crazy. What day is it today? It's, uh, it's the 5th. 25 more days. Happy birthday, Anthony Nguyen. Happy birthday, Anthony Nguyen. And, and so uh, you. thank you to the Three Beat Slide family. We're excited to have them on. We're excited to break the world record. We're excited to have yeah. Jim Pesky on, talk about Horizon. And I got to say sorry to my buddy who I didn't text again. Uh, oh, is, we had a jam-packed cast. No does, worries. Does uh, Dunner want to nah, come on? Nah, he's good. It's been an hour 47. Yeah, so. he's fine. Yeah. All right. He'll be Anyways, all right. thanks, Army. Love you guys. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, oh, yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Do okay. it. Tickle it. See you, boys and girls. See you, Army.
Thunder